Hello and welcome to What's in this week's Open Times with me, Sandy Neal. It's just me this week. Kathy's on a tropical holiday in Finland. But we've got lots of stories and photos for you in the paper and online at www.obentimes.co.uk. We're always happy to hear your stories and see your photographs, so please do get in touch if you have any news to share. You can call us on 01631 568 000, email us at editor at obentimes.co.uk, or message us on Facebook, Instagram or X, formerly known as Twitter. So a date has been set for the appeal of a former GIA sub-postmaster jailed for a year amid the post office scandal. But a former sheriff says her conviction could be overturned tomorrow. MSPs across parties are urging health chiefs to reverse blood cancer care cuts at Oban Hospital. One patient faced a seven-hour drive and a £400 bill after travelling to a consultation in Glasgow. They said the whole new arrangement is a dangerous farce. Train passengers travelling between Oban and Glasgow are talking up with sleeping bags, electric blankets, hot water bottles and even thermal underwear to stay warm on the Baltic rail journey in the winter. You can read the chilling story from commuters and tourists, plus what your local councillors, MSPs and ScotRail are doing about it in this week's paper and on our website. Now imagine you come home from the Christmas holidays to find a notice stuck on your car saying it will be towed away and destroyed tomorrow. That's what happened to a Tenault man this week. What happened next? Find out in the Open Times. Bank of Scotland closures, what happens next? MSPs debate the loss of branches and mobile banks across the Highlands and Islands. Isla's whiskey boom has taken a blow. The island's newest distillery, Ardnahoe, is closing its cafe with all visitor centre jobs at risk of redundancy. Meanwhile, the launch date for Isla Jura's first new Calmac ferry, the MV Isle of Isla, has been revealed. And in this week's Loch Arbor Times, Noidart's community buyout of the Old Forge has inspired another remote Loch Arbor community to bid for their local pub. Wild swimmers from around Loch Linney also came together on a freezing cold January morning to brave the waters in an act of protest against a proposed mega fish farm on their shores. And it's strictly come Cayley dancing. Stars of Scottish music and TV will gather later this month to compete in a Cayley dance-off in aid of the Ailey MacLeod Memorial Trust, the youth music charity established in memory of the Barrow teenager who was a victim of the 2017 Manchester Arena attack. Dancers will compete in four rounds, putting their skills to the test across a range of Cayley dances from waltzes to Scottish. Don't forget you can read all these stories and much more at www.opentimes.co.uk or by picking up a newspaper in shops and petrol stations from Thursday. We love hearing from you, so if you have a story, please do get in touch. For now, though, thank you for listening, and it's goodbye from me, Sandy Neal. Bye. Hey.